Hey guys, Alex here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, the first 15 days of FBA. What I'm sending over today in profits, we got one, two, three, four, about four boxes we're sending over to Amazon today. I'm going to show you how much in profits that's going to be and how much we've made in the first 15 days. We've got Wally on their team. Hey, Wally. Give a thumbs up. We got Wally on the team and we're setting this up. So I'm gonna give you an update as to what's going on. Stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see all of the numbers. I'll see you on the inside. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Alex. I love to do online business. I am a uh, registered nurse. I'm completing my doctorate program in, a, in the next uh, four or five months here at the end of December but I've been able to build and grow an online business through self-publishing uh, in the last couple of years. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new venture that I've started, and it's flipping books. It has to do with books, which I love. So in this video, I'm going to discuss my first 30 days of flipping books. Now, I'm gonna show you when my account went live on Amazon uh, Seller uh, Central, and what I've done, where I'm at, and hopefully I could take you through this journey with me as to how I grow this business, how I make it into an actual business, as opposed to me having to go sourcing for books and sending them and all of that. You will see in time whether I succeed or, 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 I, or I fail, but I think it's gonna be a good process for you to see the mindset of someone who is just like you, who has a family, who is in school full time, who is a professional or has a full time job, but by working every single day a little bit on the business and just minimizing all of the distractions that we find on YouTube, on Facebook, on all of these things that people are coming at you uh, that are really, really distracting. I face them too, but hopefully through this journey, you're gonna see how I'm able to just focus in on key principles that I believe in and then I'm able to focus and uh, grow this business. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so my story starts in mid-May. I was up in Indiana, up by Chicago, and I had taken a job assignment for three months up in that area. So when my job assignment finished, it finished May 22nd, I'm never going to forget, because I had, for the first time, I had driven up by myself uh, in this new truck that I purchased, and it was uh, snowing up there, and now I'm coming back finally to the Florida area, and uh, it was mid-May. So I'm driving back, and I had been, uh, been targeted by marketing for this FBA flipping book uh, program that I had seen on Facebook. I became very interested because about five years ago, I really wanted to do FBA, but I got scared because you had to buy products overseas, you had to import, it just seemed too complicated at the time, and that actually led me into, into self-publishing. So if you have seen my videos, you have seen my channel, you know that I have grown that business, it's passive income for me. So I did not do FBA, but this time around, Obviously, I have more confidence. I have a lot, a lot more money that I could dabble in things. But the most important thing about this is that book flipping, it's you know, it's the product is here in the U.S. I don't have to, you know, have someone make the product for me overseas and whatnot. It's just a totally different thing. And besides, I have sold over a million dollars in books and audiobooks and and more. So I'm very comfortable in selling books on Amazon. Check out my channel as I teach that as well. So anyway, I started to travel down from the Chicago area down to Florida, and as I'm driving in my truck, I decide to listen to a webinar, and I decide to buy the product as I'm driving 80 miles an hour in my car. It took me two and a half days to travel uh, from up there down to Florida, and in that process, I listened to the lessons, about 25% of the whole training on how to do this book flipping. When I got here to my office, I said, okay, it's time to roll up your sleeves and let's get to work. I could definitely do this, I'm gonna do this. I love books, I could definitely do this. So that's what I'm about to show you 
you're gonna see in this video that my account went live on June in June 14th in those first two weeks and now where it is July 16th. so it's been really 30 days but the real selling began in July because it takes time for books to get there to all of the warehouses and for it to start selling but that's what this video is about I'm gonna show you what I've done in the first 30 days flipping books flipping books all right let's get to it hey guys so you're here in my back office in Amazon seller central let's go over some key points here so you could understand this I'm still very very new to this by no means am I an expert not even close to being an expert so I'm gonna show you what I know at this point remember I'm fresh 30 days in. these are my first 30 days uh, utilizing this platform and on top of that I have a, a lot of things going on I'm just not spending every single hour trying to do this so here we go uh, Amazon seller central it looks like I'm selling in three different marketplaces United States Canada and Mexico I have 32 books that need to be sent to clients so these are 32 books that I just that have been sold and Amazon has to deliver on them today's sale is 119.41 so far from the title on my video the thumbnail you know that I'm selling over $200 every single day so I'm 50% there for the day or so it's five o'clock and I love having sales when I go to sleep and I wake up and this is kind of what it looks like my first paycheck that I'm going to have in the positive cash flow category is gonna be eleven hundred dollars and counting so as you're going to see if some of you decide to do this that Amazon is gonna hold reserves they're gonna take all of their fees so it'll be from what I saw it's gonna take about four to six weeks in my case it's gonna be exactly that it's gonna be into my fourth week and it's gonna be a nice paycheck uh, by no means am I patting myself on the back with this uh, you know because this does require work it does require manual physical work where you're going out and sourcing and putting this all together like I'm going to show you um, you know if I go to work when I went to work up in in the Chicago area I make nine hundred to a thousand dollars per day so by no means is this you know something that I would want to do as full-time to make this type of money but this is exactly why I'm shooting this video you have to have a mindset of knowing what you're trying to build and at the very beginning it doesn't you know the numbers don't come in it takes time and I do receive a lot of emails from people who are trying to create passive income with my course and do the self-publishing and you have to see that it takes time and that's exactly why I want you guys to follow this journey so you could see this from the beginning uh, and hopefully I could build this into something pretty pretty good and I think I can so anyway 1140 is, it looks like it's gonna be my paycheck let's click on there so you could see the breakdown this is only in the US uh, 1140 and like I said I, I started this account back in June so let's go back here and click on this drop down I want to show you something very significant for me as well when I saw this back in 2017 I told you guys a little while ago that I tried to do FBA I was gonna do FBA and I did open up a seller's a sell Amazon seller account but I never did any anything with it just incur fees so if we look back into October of 2017 in December if I click on to one of those statements you're gonna see I have a negative balance of 39.99 that's one of the fees that they charge you for a professional seller account so all I incurred back in 2017 was 39.99 this is very typical of all of us who try something new that don't follow through right and here we go here is two months worth of of uh, losses for me so it's very exciting for me to come back and come back here in 2021 four years later and tackle this and now I'm gonna be now I'm gonna have a positive cash flow from this account and this is kind of empowering for me and I want it to be empowering for you because just because you don't succeed or just because you've let's say stop going to the gym for a couple of days just get back to it forgive yourself allow yourself some room uh, 
some room to make mistakes and as long as you go back to it just like I'm doing here it's all good so here we go when I came back to this from June the last two weeks of June I still had a negative balance but I didn't I did have some sales uh, of 156 but I still had a negative balance from all of those uh, negative fees that Amazon charges me then the statement after that which is my really my first two weeks I sold six hundred and forty six dollars and Amazon is going to always reserve a certain amount of money in case you have refunds they and that's what I'm going to show you so my first two weeks negative balance and this will be from July 4th onto here it's going to be my very first positive cash flow my reserves came over 8760 from the last pay period and now they're holding the 1140 and that's where I get my positive cash flow so these reserves are going to come to me and this is the first time I'm going to have a paycheck and it falls within the 30 days of me doing business with Amazon next I'm going to show you the platform that I use to create my shipments and I'm going to show you there how many shipments I've sent from the very beginning from day one and how fast I actually started shipping to Amazon from the moment I got here to Florida so I'm going to show you that next so you can see that taking action is what it's always about you're gonna make mistakes along the way but it doesn't matter as long as you keep moving forward all right I'm gonna show you that next so I want to show you something here this is from my phone and this is the uh, Amazon seller app on my phone and I want to show you here when I first started in June so June 15th or 16th I had my first sale and then the next day after that that I had another sale I think I sold about 40 something dollars the first day and then the third day I didn't sell anything and then I went close to a hundred and then I didn't sell anything and then this was my journey the first two weeks of uh, uh, my first two weeks into the business and those were the last two weeks of June so this first picture here shows my sales just breaking $100 a day uh, in July and then never looking back. I'm just hovering every day under 200 um, and so on and so forth. So I took this picture earlier on today, uh, just had two sales early in the morning, um, $36. And then in the next image here on the right side, I took that a few minutes ago, it's already six, uh, six and change here. Um, this this is just of July so this is just for this month as you can see on here uh, I've climbed already up to eight eight sales I'm averaging over 10 sales a day and I'm up at hundred and forty four dollars as you can see in July I broke over a hundred and then I'm just hovering under 200 here I did have a day where I, I, I did 400 uh, and uh, the last two gray uh, is July 15th and today the July 16th right over a hundred so I just wanted to show you that that's how you track this on your phone uh, if you found if you found a value so far in this uh, in this video go ahead and subscribe drop me a comment tell me what you think uh, I always love to hear from you guys I'm just trying to give you some value here in case you're trying to make that extra income uh, this is definitely one of the ways uh, you could do it. Let me show you one more thing before we wrap this up. I want to show you Acceler app, how I package what I use to uh, ship these, uh, these and how I've calculated and how I set my goals so you could see the mindset behind that. All right, so I'm here uh, using Acceler List. This is just an application that you use to upload uh, when you scan the books that you're going to send this information over to Amazon and then it shows you how to uh, package it uh, and, and how many boxes you have to put it in and whatnot. I want to briefly show you that this is highly organized. Uh, there are other applications out there like um, something lab, inventory lab. I happen to use this one. This was the one that they recommended in the course that I took. So, so far so good. Everything that I use, you'll find the link in the video below and uh, feel free if you want to try this use my link I do appreciate those who uh, who take you know uh, my links my affiliate links because I'm actually using the stuff and I'm showing what I'm doing so let me uh, briefly show you something that I think you're gonna find very very interesting so again I'm recapping here that in my first uh, two weeks of June I did in sales 630 we're in July and you can see today again July is uh, July 16th 
already sales of 155 yesterday 191 and the first two weeks of July I've already done over 3200 so I'm thinking I'm gonna do 6,000 this month 7,000 this month we'll see how that turns out in sales I think that's fantastic from what I'm seeing other people uh, and hundreds of people in these type of groups uh, it looks like I'm on I'm, I'm on a good path right but I'm gonna show you how I got here and it and this is the most important thing that people don't show you all they show you is videos on how much money they're making but they never really show you what they're really making uh, or how they do it so uh, briefly here orders uh, this month 181 172 the two looks like have been shipped I have over 600 books in the warehouses and tons of boxes in transit over it takes a while before they get reported um, this is what I want to show you batch history today you got to meet one of my new team members and his name is uh, Wally so today I was training him on how to list books I've been training him this week how to list these books pack them uh, to send so I'm teaching him how to use this application right here and the system that I have in place again you can see that today is July 16th so this is a box that he did the way I set it up is I we write the day of the week we write the person who is doing the listing so you know sending out this box today's date and you know the number of boxes that we're doing for the day so this happened to be the second box of today this is still not completed so far there's only eight books in there uh, but he had to leave he had to finish so far I've sent over 41 boxes of books that's why I have over 600 books um, in cost I have about 4,000 uh, projected profit that's after I make back my 4,000 is over 6,000 uh, in profits for me that's a pretty good month if you know that would to come in in a, in a month's time that's a good pretty good income uh, a good side hustle but let me show you here so this is uh, in progress let me show you completed these are the boxes that I've completed and this is what I want to show you I hope you have you find value in this because I, I would love somebody to have shown me what they actually did to get to a certain number so I told you that I came I drove down May 22nd so I got here you know May 24th May 25th or whatnot I shipped my first box to Amazon although my account was not activated my account was activated June 15th I had shipped boxes thinking that my account was activated but it was not I shipped my first box June 4th so we're talking about I took pretty pretty quick action I, I probably got here um, May 25th and within five ten days I shipped out my first box June 7th I shipped out a box another week after that it was a kind of a slow process right three days and then another seven days and then I and then I started to be very consistent so let me show you the breakdown here you're gonna see my name because I'm the only one that's doing this and I hadn't figured out my system yet but if you look all the way to the right these are the number of books in each boxes so my first box was for 46 books my second box was for 48 my third for 29 so these are the uh, amount of books in the boxes okay so I shipped on the 14th the 15th I did two boxes on the 15th okay then I did one on the 16th then one on the 20th on the 21st I did two boxes the 24th the 25th two boxes the 26th one box the 28th three boxes the 29th two box three boxes three boxes again on the 30th we're coming into July now the third one July 4th weekend I'm working three boxes July 5th and so on so wh why am I showing you this well I want you to see how consistent right my goal my goals are to do a certain amount of number once I figure out the numbers in a business then it's just a matter of you doing the work because results are always a lagging indicator of what you're seeing right now so when I hit a ten thousand dollar month in profits for me it's all gonna come back to these numbers that I'm showing you now let me show you something very important so if I click on my first box it's gonna show me that I shipped 46 books 
and my net profit for this box was 247 all right 247 if I click into any box it's gonna show me the net profit for the box that I have that's if, if I were to sell all of the books in there right so June 7th look at this profit 415 if I were to sell all 48 books right um, let's go back so I told myself I'm going to ship boxes just like if I was making a paycheck right I need to have profits every single day almost every single day almost every single week so I'll click into let's see here June 21st let's see what the profits are look I sent in $300 worth of profits for me that's after I bought books one to $130 I sold and I covered my cost and now this would be my net if I were to sell all 441 books in this particular box so guys the mindset is always the same and I did this with I did this with my publishing business I published enough books every single month every single week till I climbed to 20 and thirty thousand dollars of profit of net profits for myself every single month this is the same concept and you're seeing me execute the same concept you're seeing me send boxes over to Amazon almost every day now I know if I want to make 10,000 how much I have to send in in boxes every single week and that's what I'm ramping ramping up to so final words here I don't want to do this full-time where I'm sourcing books for myself and shipping for myself but as you could see I'm starting to put the pieces in place the foundation in place I'm gonna learn every part of the business so I could later on outsource every single part I'm already training Wally so when I'm traveling to Asia here in a couple of months and I'm over there for a few months he's sending boxes for me every single day or the days that he's here for work I have someone already sourcing for me so this is how it's done will it work I hope so uh, if I fail I fail but this is the way I've, I've achieved success with my online business and this is the way I'm seeing positive numbers already with this business all right if you got value go ahead and subscribe if you have a question I'll be more than happy to shed some light into this business as I learn more uh, go ahead and smash that like button and ask me any questions below I will see you on the next one guys